Tesla Powerwall 3. Enphase IQ Battery 10C. Which is the best solar and energy storage system for your home in 2025? I'm gonna be answering that question and teaching you all about these two market-leading solar and storage systems in today's video. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, we're doing another head-to-head -head battery comparison between the very popular Tesla Powerwall 3 and the new Enphase IQ Battery 10C. Now, before we get to the head-to-head, -head, I wanna take a moment to explain how these two systems are different. Uh, and you really wanna think of these as systems or platforms, not just a battery, a plug-and-play battery. Now, when you look at the Tesla Powerwall 3, Tesla uses a high-voltage DC-coupled architecture, meaning that it can take high-voltage DC power directly from the solar panels and deliver that on the high voltage DC bus to charge the battery cells. So you take advantage of that more efficient direct high voltage DC to DC solar to battery charging. Uh, of course, it also uses an integrated battery storage and inverter design. So the Powerwall 3 is not just a battery, it is a hybrid inverter with a battery built into it. And that hybrid inverter does the inversion both for the solar array and for the battery storage system as well. So it re eliminates some redundant equipment. Uh, and of course, you don't need any module level power electronics with Powerwall 3. Uh, again, you can bring high voltage DC solar strings directly from the rooftop to the Powerwall 3 without having to install a separate optimizer or microinverter on each individual solar panel. Now, the Enphase system is still based on the microinverter architecture. Uh, Enphase uses microinverters on the solar array, of course, uh, and even internal to their battery, they use microinverters to do the inverter charger function. Uh, and of course, this is an AC coupled battery, meaning that the interface between the solar power and the battery system happens on the AC side of the system after there's been at least two AC to DC or DC to AC conversions, meaning that you're going to incur more losses and you have less efficient solar to battery charging. All right, now we're gonna be doing the evaluation in six categories. Each category has a maximum score of five points for a maximum overall score of 30 points. Now those categories are power, uh, also the storage capacity of the battery, the warranty coverage of the battery, of course the cost of the battery and the cost to have it installed, uh, also the ease of installation, which is especially important for you installers out there as you're planning your equipment and your manpower of what it's gonna to take to put one of these systems in. And then finally, what I like to call the X factor. And what the X factor is, is a way where I can award additional points to one of the two products where there might not be a direct apples to apples comparison, but where there could be tremendous impact for you as a potential system owner. So with that, let's get into the comparison. All right, up first is the Tesla Powerwall 3. Now in terms of power output, the Powerwall 3 will give you 11 and a half kilowatts of continuous power output. Um, that's a lot of power, uh, amongst the best as far as what's available on the market today. And for most of you, that will be sufficient for whole house backup. Now in terms of storage capacity, the Tesla Powerwall 3 offers 13 and a half kilowatt hours of usable storage capacity. Uh, Tesla has kind of stayed right at that 13 and a half kilowatt hour level uh, for its generation one, two, and third generation battery. Uh, for most of you, you, you could install a single battery for whole house backup, but I would recommend a two battery system for those that wanna have a true whole house backup, including being able to run heavy loads like air conditioning through the evening hours. Now in terms of warranty, Tesla offers that standard 10 year warranty. Now we're sort of seeing 10 years as the standard emerging for a, a home battery system. Uh, and in terms of cost, the Tesla system is going to be on the lower end of the price spectrum. Uh, the feedback that we're getting from installers is that the cost of the Powerwall 3 battery inverter itself, uh, as well as just the overall cost of an installation is, is on the lower end of the spectrum. Big part of that is the fact that the single device does your solar inverter and your battery inverter function. So again, no need for module level power electronics on the roof. Now in terms of ease of installation, I'm gonna award the Powerwall 3 plus three additional points here. Um, Tesla has their, their backup switch, which is their version of a meter collar adapter, which allows you to install and wire for whole house backup without having to install a critical loads panel or modify any of the inside the house wiring, which dramatically reduces the complexity of the installation. Um, as well as, as I mentioned earlier, 
Since the single Powerwall 3 does the solar inverter and the battery inverter function, it minimizes greatly the amount of wiring and the amount of equipment that has to be deployed on the rooftop. And then in terms of X Factor, I'm gonna give Tesla plus two additional X Factor points for the first, just the excellent aesthetic design of the product and also the nice tight integration on the Tesla app. So if you're already a Tesla vehicle owner, uh, you'll, I think you'll really enjoy being able to control your EV charging, your solar, your battery backup, all on a single app, all on a single platform. Uh, and of course, as far as user interface design, Tesla is among the best in the game. So this is the Tesla Powerwall 3. Today's video is brought to you by Lunar Energy. If you're looking for a whole home solar and smart energy management system that is highly scalable and fastest to install, then you need to take a look at Lunar Energy. Lunar Energy offers an all-in-one solar storage and smart energy management system, including whole house backup, smart circuit breakers, and a modular stackable design. Lunar AI makes a custom plan every day for every home, optimizing against everything from changing energy rates to the weather. So if you're serious about maximizing your energy savings and you want a single system for smart home energy management, then go to lunarenergy.com so you can get connected with an approved installer in your area right away. All right, up next is the new Enphase IQ Battery 10C. Now in terms of power output, each IQ Battery 10C can provide 7.1 kilowatts of continuous power output. Uh, that's a little bit lower on the power spectrum than, than some of the other home batteries that have come on the market recently. So for most homes, for a whole house backup, I'm gonna be recommending two batteries or more. Now in terms of storage capacity, the IQ Battery 10C provides 10 kilowatt hours of usable storage capacity. So that's that's where the 10 comes from in the, the IQ Battery 10C. It's 10 kilowatt hours of storage capacity. Now in terms of warranty, Enphase offers a leading 15 year warranty. Now Enphase is only one of two companies I'm aware of that offers a 15 year warranty uh, on their home battery system. So it scores very well in this area. However, in terms of cost, Enphase is gonna be much higher on the price spectrum. Uh, and part of the reason is that they, they use microinverters for just about everything. They got microinverters on the solar array, they use microinverters inside the battery. Uh, it does make for a more redundant architecture for sure, but it also means that there are more parts and there's just more cost to an overall system. So if you're looking at total cost per kilowatt hour of storage capacity installed, Enphase is gonna be significantly more expensive than Tesla. Uh, in terms of ease of installation, I'm gonna give Enphase plus three points in this area. Uh, one thing I like that they did, although it's a 10 kilowatt hour battery, they broke it down into separate five kilowatt hour modules. So there's no one module that weighs more than 200 pounds, which means the installation can still be achieved with only two technicians without having to use any special lift equipment. Uh, and of course now Enphase has their version of a backup switch or of a meter collar adapter. Uh, again, allows for much cleaner installation when you're wiring for a whole house backup. You don't have to install a critical loads panel or modify any of the inside the house wiring. And then in terms of X Factor, I'm gonna give Enphase plus three additional X Factor points. Uh, really not so much for the battery itself, but for other features that are available on the Enphase platform including intelligent load control using the new uh, Enphase IQ Combiner 6C, uh, as well as Enphase is working on a bi-directional EV charger. Uh, in fact, if you haven't seen our previous video of a demo in the lab of the prototype bi-directional EV charger, uh, go back and watch that previous video where Mohammed al Quran walked me through the prototype version that they have now. Uh, and then Enphase is also promising that they are gonna have a working generator support option. Uh, and I know that the previous generation battery with generator recharge, it was supposed to work and it was a disaster. They're working on fixing that now, but they say that in 2026, a generator recharge option will be available as well. So again, all of that will be available if you're on the Enphase platform. So this is the new fourth generation Enphase battery, the IQ Battery 10C. Okay, so in summary here, for Powerwall 3, we're looking at 11 and a half kilowatt hours of power output, 13 kilowatt hours of storage capacity with a 10 year warranty. Powerwall 3 definitely is gonna be lower on the price spectrum for the cost of a total installed system, plus three points for ease of installation, plus two X Factor points. For the Enphase battery, we're looking at 7.1 kilowatts of continuous output power. So considerably less output power, definitely gonna to wanna to have two batteries or more for a whole house backup. 10 kilowatt hours of storage capacity, again, 
definitely want to have two batteries or more for a whole house backup if you're talking about a full-size home with air conditioning and heavy loads. Uh, industry leading 15 years on the warranty, definitely higher on the cost spectrum when you look at total cost per kilowatt hour of capacity. Plus three points for ease of installation, plus three X-Factor points. So if we total it up, Powerwall 3 receives five out of five for power, four out of five for storage capacity, three out of five for warranty, again, just standard 10-year warranty, three out of five for ease of installation, plus two X-Factor points for a total of 22 points. Now for the Enphase battery, we're looking at three out of five for power, significantly reduced power, three out of five for storage capacity, again, it's smaller than some of the new higher capacity batteries that are on the market today, five out of five for warranty. Enphase does have one of the best, if not the best, battery warranties on the market, plus three points, for ease of installation, plus three X-Factor points for a total of 20 points. So this has been a head-to-head -head comparison of the Tesla Powerwall 3 and the new Enphase IQ Battery 10C. Um, again, folks, when we do these comparison videos, the purpose is not to say, oh, this one company is always better than the other, or the one brand is always better than the other. Really what you wanna think of this is as, which platform do you wanna be on? If you're gonna be on the Tesla platform, you're using their battery, their inverter, their app, their accessories. If you wanna be on the Enphase platform, you're gonna be using their micro inverters, their batteries, their combiner, and then potentially in the future, other accessories like their load control, generator recharge, and bi-directional EV charging, which frankly I think is the most anticipated new technology of 2025, 2026, is finally being able to plug that electric vehicle into your home solar system and use that electric vehicle as an additional storage battery. Well, folks, that pretty much does it for today's comparison video. Um, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos you see on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. So as we have new content like this coming out, it'll come up on your recommended feed and you can stay up to date with everything. Um, also, if you're in the process of looking at solar power and battery options for your home, you know, 2025 is it. This is the last time to get in and be able to take advantage of the 30% residential tax credit. So if you need to get a price quote or if you already have a quote and you just need to get a comparison quote to make sure that you're getting the right equipment and getting the best deal, as always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below here. Either set up a call with a solar surge expert or just use the free online calculator so you can see how much solar and battery storage costs in your area. But that does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.